one I ran today. My video just cut out, so I have to re record everything. And let's say I'm gonna tell you guys again. We're gonna open up an Asus laptop. This one is an FX 505D model. We're gonna repaste and I'm gonna show you the inside of it and how to clean it up. And if you wanna add more RAM or anything like that. First thing first, you wanna flip it over and you wanna remove all the screws at the bottom. I'm using my iFixit and tool set and I'm using a Phillips number zero and all the screws on the front side and the one in the middle they are the same and the side ones and the far back end ones they're all the same too and they're the longest one so once we remove all the screws we're gonna open up the laptop in a 45 degree angle we're gonna grab an opening tool and in my case a guitar pick and we're gonna shower between the bottom and the top cover let me see yeah just like that and we're gonna wiggle it around in the front and do the side a little bit you wanna pop those clips open do the left and right side Once you have those popped open and you can put the, close the lid and then you want to open it up, just pull up the cover and everything else will just come up. So there we have it. There is a pipe shank right here. So there's a CPU and GPU. There's a two heat pipes going and being shared between them. And there's one extra pipe going from to the side, helping the GPU a little bit more. It's pure copper and there's a copper plate over the component to keep them cool on the VRAMs and stuff like that. So first thing first, we want to remove the, oh, and here's your RAM. There's a one slot RAM dim available is there right here and there. This one has an SSD drive, which is M.2 is right over here. So there's a mechanical hard drive right here. You can update upgrade the SSD drive or you can upgrade the mechanical drive. First thing first we want to remove the battery. To remove the battery we want to pull this jack towards the battery just with two fingernails. So I was my nails are dirty. I worked in a, on my car all day. So yeah. Pull these two triggers battery jack towards the battery and there you have it disconnected. Now the battery is disconnected. You can use an opener, a freezer to just lift it up so it doesn't go in. Now we need to remove the fan and the heat sink. To remove it, we need to remove the two screws for the fan. I guess this cover is coming up with me. That one and then the screw right in here. All right, now that we remove these two screws on this side, we're gonna remove the two screws on the other side. Also, we have to unhook the cable for the LCD. Just so it goes underneath, right there. You don't need to take it apart, but if you want, go ahead. There's a tiny flap, lift it and just slide it out. All right, let me show you guys. You just lift, wanna lift this one with your fingernail, 90 degrees, and it slide out the cable, flex cable. All right, the power jack cable is right here. Loosen that up. The fan cable is right here, the jack. Just unhook the jack, slide it out. There. So, jack fan is out. Now we're gonna do the same thing on this side. The Wi Fi antenna goes right here. The Wi Fi board is right underneath of the SSD drive. So, we're gonna peel this off. We're gonna remove the SSD drive. So one is screw and the SSD drive comes up in 45 degree angle. Left it. This one is a really empty and the only thing it has one NAT chip. So these are one of the cheap ones that they use by Western Digital. All right, and down here we can see the Wi-Fi board. On the Wi-Fi board, peel off the tape and remove the antennas. The black goes with the black one, the white indicator goes with the white one. 
you can just rip it apart or just untrace it right there. Lift the black tape over this. Remove the antenna cable. Now there's one more screw by the fan on this side, so this fan has three screws. Remove that one. Alright, and the fan cable is right over here. So unhook the fan cable. And the fan cable is right under the Wi Fi board, so we're gonna remove the Wi Fi board. One screw, and then slide it out. Now you can go ahead and remove this tape, we'll pull that, and the fan is right there. The fan won't be able to come up because it's right underneath the heatsink. Now we're gonna go remove the four screws for the X clamp for the CPU and four screws for the X clamp of the other one, the GPU. There we go. Now once we remove everything, you don't want to yank it from this side, you want to uh, pull it up near the CPU and GPU, but you don't want to bend over the heatsink. Just lift up a little bit so you hear that click. Do it right here too. You might require a little bit more force here. Because there's more stuff in here, more components. So there we go. There. Now we have it up, so we're just gonna lift it up and the whole thing will come out. And there we have it. They instead of using thermal paste, they're using a thermal silicone right on the RAM chips and the other components so we leave, we're gonna leave them the way it is all we're gonna do we're gonna clean up the fans we can just remove the fan we're gonna clean up all these dirty fans because the airflow is like a really bad on these ones and clean up the other one and i guess this one has a, a little bit of there we go. we're gonna just clean up the cpu side and the gpu side we're gonna clean these two Thermal paste, and very easily we're gonna do it with a working towel. So what you wanna do is just wanna grab it and just rub it off. Hold on. You can help it out with a plastic guitar pick to pick up the excess, and then just go ahead over with the towel. So you wanna, you can just do it this way. It's more efficient. Alright, now that we have this copper cleaned up, because if there's an oxidation on the copper, the copper already gets tiny, tiny uh, color coloration and might get oxidation. You can clean this one up with a copper cleaner solution. You can grab a copper clean solution and just damp it in with a Q-tip or one little bit of the, just the tiny bit and look how it's going to change the color now that there is no oxidation or anything like that there's no more layers the contact is going to be perfect so now we're going to clean up the cpu and gpu same way we're going to clean it with an alcohol all you need to clean is the die. You don't need to clean the PCB board or anything like that. All right, now that we clean up this one, we're gonna go ahead and clean up the fan. We're gonna use a toothbrush and we're gonna gently use a toothbrush and the air can or compressor, we're gonna clean up the fans. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up all these fans and I'll be just right back. All right, now that we clean up the fans, the whole fan is cleaned up. 
with a toothbrush we clean it and we just blow air through it and we clean up the heatsink the cpu everything is cleaned up so what we're gonna do right now we're gonna grab our thermal paste and in this case i am gonna use an what's called a master gel pro or master cooler thermal paste and i'm gonna drop a line on the gpu Uh, one tiny line on the CPU. You can do a line, cross, 6.5 point, point, the way you like it, but I always go with this in combination and it's really helpful. And one more thing is really helpful, I really recommend you guys to do it, is to grab the X clamp of the CPU and GPU I use this screw. I'm gonna put the link in the description where to get these ones. You're gonna put it like this and you're gonna twist it a little bit up so you get more tension towards the CPU. So that way the force is gonna be even higher, greater from the heat sink towards the CPU. So make sure you lift it up evenly. It's all balanced, the same height. You don't wanna have one lower, one down, one not lower. So you have the even pressure on both sides. Right? Same thing with the GPU. There we have it. Now before we put it in, we gotta put the fans in place. So this fan was for here. And this one was right over here. This one can sit there and also if you want you can accommodate the thermal paste or you can just grab a different thermal paste and add a little bit of thermal paste on the other components it doesn't harm and it doesn't do anything extra i'm using an arctic silver mx4 all right Now, we got, this fan has to go in first. Okay. Actually, it could sit there. Grab the cable. Make sure you drop the heat sink flat on the CPU and GPU. Now we're gonna cross the stage, cross the screw them. First hold it this way and put the CPU heatsink. Always cross the screw them. You see I did this one first, that one second. There's a number one, two, three, four, or you can do whatever, one, two, three, four, but as long as you go cross the screw them. Follow the numbers or just cross the screw them. Right, we got the CPU in place. Do the far corner. All right. Put the two screws on the right fan. Three screws on the left. Very important, put the cable for the fans. So on this one, we're gonna slide the jack for the fan all the way in. On the cable, right across there, put the cable for the LCD. Lift up this cover, slide down the flex cable, close the lid. And make sure the cable goes right underneath the side of the fan and it's straight in, it's not sideways. Alright, grab this one here, put the tape over this one. If 
the tape doesn't stick, you better off putting a different tape. You can use an Scotch 33. This one's a different type of electrical tape. These are really, really powerful and against the heat. So you can use this one. It's totally safe. Let's get this in there. That thing is not gonna move from there. It's not necessary, but there's no harm done to put it in. You plug in the cable for the fan. Again, if you want to do that way, you can put it underneath that. But there's no need to go underneath, but you can go ahead and do it. Slide the Wi Fi board in there with the screw. Put the black jack. This one is a snap on. So put it straight on top and just push it down. There we go. Now you can put the tape on this one. Again, you can use the same tape. And in here, I'm gonna use this one because it's gonna be between the SSD and this one. For some reason, I thought it was the other way around. So yeah, put it there and you put it in 45 degree angle and put the screw at the back. All right. And now this one is uh, really up to you if you want to put this cover over, but it's not 100% uh, needed. It's just that it doesn't show through the openings of the bottom case. Pretty much we are done and at the end, all we need to do is to put the power cable back in. So align the jack, put it straight in front of it and then slide it all the way in. All right. All right, and the last step is to grab the bottom cover and clean up the bottom cover. And just put it on and just push it down the corner, the side, the back, and the front. And the last thing is to put the screws back in. Remember the longer screws, they goes all the way from the back where the heat sink is and two side ones. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, click that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. If you guys subscribe, I take requests. I try to answer as soon as I can on your comments. And again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Just finishing it up. There we go. And if you see a little opening in in front, just snap it on. Just put your finger, just close it on the side, just close that, and that's it.